So yeah, hi everyone, I'm Li Chen, I'm from Gojek. Uh, today I'll be talking about how we automate map error detection at scale in, in my company. So Gojek is like a right hailing company based um, in Indonesia. Uh, we have offices in Singapore, where I'm from, and Vietnam as well. We do ride hailing, we do food delivery, and also um, logistics, which is like a parcel delivery. And I'm in this team, um, cartography, and what we do is that we provide a map um, platform that's tailored for the Goto um, ecosystem. We do um, like OSM map road networks, we look at uh, traffic problems, routing problems, POI accuracy, um, ETA of arrivals of our um, drivers, yeah? Yep, so um, to, the, to the meat of the um, presentation. So we have this um, project, we call it the Maps Error Inference. What we do is that um, we are trying to detect this type of mirrors on the left you see here, non-routable, um, missing turn restrictions, as well as wrong two ways. So what this means is that you can look at the animation, the blue dotted lines are the ones that were actually taken by our drivers. And they are, um, how we get them is that we map match the driver pings, we snap them to the road. So that's how we get it. And then we also have the green line, which is the suggested route. That is the one that's being suggested by our um, routing engine. So some of the heuristics that we use is that we look at the ratio of the orders that we're traversing through the route. We also try to incorporate some uh, road network structures, such as like uh, whether these um, two OSM WID were connected, and if they are, what are what is the chances or like the ratio of like um, the orders um, actually traversing through them? And we also look at the GPS ping direction that um, we can extract from the driver pings. In addition to that, we also try to use utilize local knowledge to reduce false positives um, from our uh, yeah sorry from our um, outputs. So these are usually like um, handcrafted rules by our um, local map operation teams. There's also another project that we do that where we try to look at the discrepancy between the driver location and the pickup route starting point. And you see in the radius over there, there's this small gap, right? So usually what it should be, what we should be looking at is that the, the red marker should be at the point where the blue marker is at. So um, usually when this happens, it could be that there is some issues around that area. That's why um, we are not able to um, route starting from the driver location. So in this case, we um, extract all these um, routes and then we use um, overpass to try to extract the OSM taggings of the routes in the radius. And we create, we have a set of rules with our map operation teams to only flag out those that we deem as um, true problematic routes. Yep. And we will fix these problems and we, um, also provide further feedback to the system so that it can improve. So our impact to um, the, the impact of these projects is for the business side is that we can um, serve more accurate routes and that will translate to better ETA and also better driver and customer experience. To the OSM community, we plan to move these edits into the OSM public uh, mapping and we also do share um, lessons that we have learned and best practices that we have developed from um, validating this um, uh, these problems that were flagged by the pipeline to the community via our wiki and also the OSM Indonesia. Yeah. So we also have some um, further plans to incorporate machine learning um, approaches to improve the precision and the recall and other types of the map errors that we have. Yeah, yeah, um, oops. Okay, so yeah, and in addition to that, we want to reduce some arbitrary defined threshold in our pipelines. And we, th the last point is the, is the pretty interesting point for me is that we want to incorporate like graph-based features that will provide more information about the road network connectivity. Yeah. Right, so yeah, you can um, check out our OSM or wiki page or you can like drop me an email if you're interested and um, yeah, just approach me as well. Thank you. Thank you.